Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris. I'm with Kristen's Crafts. And today I am bringing you another layout for the May I Scrap Lift You series put on by the Scrappy Inspiration Group. And today I am scrap lifting a Vicki Lopez Duran. And I really love this layout. I like the wonky cut that she had. And then she has, it looks like a four by four photo with a lot of layers and then a smaller embellishment cluster up here. And then it looks like she stitched around, but again, my sewing machine's put away. So I might do some faux stitching or some wonky um, outlining around the edge. So I'm again working on my um, son and future daughter-in-law's um, album I'm going to give them as a gift and so this is just a picture of them at a Blackhawks hockey game that they went to with some friends and I figure there's enough here that I can cut down um, to four by four and it won't lose any of the effect of the picture. Um, in fact I might try and get the top half because it shows the flags up here and for my background I'm picking this gray, it kind of looks almost like um, a linen. This is from uh, Park Lane, and it is, um, which one? Hang on, I'm trying to find my paper pad. Happy Camper. Uh, again, this is a Joanne Fabrics paper pad, and this is the back side, which I won't be using, but we'll use the gray as the background. And then on this page, I'm going to copy what she's got and go with the black here and cut on my angle. And then I'm going to use the buffalo check as um, the small piece that she's got, which looks like washi tape. But I'm just going to put a little bit of the red popping off of there to get the, because the Blackhawks colors are black and red. So... The other thing I did was went into my scraps and I grabbed out a piece of black cardstock, which I figure I'll, I'll use as one of my layers. I grabbed this white and bl um, black polka dot and then I grabbed this gingham that I'm going to use for my layers. I probably won't have as many layers as she had on her sketch, but I thought um, we can do something with those. Then for embellishments, I pulled out just some of my um, things from my black. Um, I grabbed like these tickets that I thought I could tuck in. It just says like general admission. Obviously a hockey game doesn't cost five cents, but you get the idea. I grabbed some Nicole Jones um, sketchy cameras. This is gray that says number one. Not sure if I can get this to work, but it just says Snapshots of a Happy Day, which I thought was a great kind of generic title. Good Times, another, I think this is Dear Lizzie, maybe, um, tag. And I grabbed out the U Rock from Coco Vanilla. I liked the star that I thought would work. Um, and you know, the original. I can probably use some of these black elements on here. Plus, they also had a few of the sayings that I thought would work, like, um, oh yeah, um, I don't, they don't say amaze balls, but, you know, um, uh, you know, things that will work. Some, oh, epic. So, anyway, I thought some of these, um, would be fun to use on there as, um, some phrases and then I grabbed the um, stickers these are from boys rule and I like the ready set go um, time and then I thought I could use like the red arrow the, the chevrons some of the stars so um, I thought th those would work and then I was kind of excited I really want to use these I don't even know what collection these are from they're called high five but here it's got the word hooray um, it's got the word goals but I thought if I cut the s off I can use goal like because it's hockey and then it's got number one fan so I thought I could really use some of these as my title like she's got here so 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and build my background and then I will be back and we can um, embellish it together. So I'm going to put you on pause and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my background done and I like how this turned out and the little bit of pop of red. And then I did um, or ink all my edges with the Distress Ink and Black Soot and all the layers. So I have the uh, gingham, black gingham, the red, and then the black paper, and then the polka dot. And I really like how that looks. So now I just need to build off of here, a little bit here, and then up in the corner like they have. So I think what I want to start out with, I know I want a little bit of this pop of red up in the upper corner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a little square of this. And I'll ink the edges of this. So if I have that like up there, and maybe like a thin piece of this would look good. And then I can just build off of that. And I think I want this black piece to be underneath because if I put one of these words on, they are um, black. So I want to be able to have it stand off of the red. So I just put a little bit like right here. I'm just run a little bit here, and then I'm just going to trim that excess off. Just throw a little bit more adhesive under here. All right. Okay, so I'm happy with that so far. Um, I need something like right here, and I could bring in a tag. I have white ones. Let me see if I can grab it. See if I have a tag that would go good. I need either like a, I don't necessarily want black. Oh, this one isn't bad. It's a darker gray and it says you and me. That works. And then if I give it a little bit of a um, distress ink, that just defines the edges just a little bit more. Because they she's gotten her sketch like a journaling card. And again, I'm not um, journaling any of these because it's not really my story to tell, it's their story of their dating. And so um, they can do whatever they want for that. All right, so I think that's it right now for the papers. So let's see what else we can get in here. I think I want those stars, or at least one of them. I like the circular element of it. So I might be able to put that up here. And then if I grab the other one,
And then I can put that maybe in here. And I like this original and the date. And then they can date it. Okay, that kind of finishes off that corner. Now I have some of these little, well, I've got this good times and I could put that maybe down here. I think I'm gonna trim it down a little bit smaller though. And maybe I can pop it on some of that red plaid. That way it gives it another little pop of red across the page. I don't want to cover up the hawk on the ice, but well, oh, and you know what I have? I have red labels. Let me see if I can find one of my Nicole Joan labels that I can throw underneath there. Let's see how this one looks. Yeah, I like that, because then that pops a little more red. And I think I need another one up by the original, because then that will make those stand up against... If you haven't checked them out, check out Nicole Jones' website. It's Nicole Jones 911. I really like her um, printables that she's got. They've been really helpful with like tucking in here and there. They're a great addition to, and keeps you from having to spend a lot of money. You just print them on really good, um, like a, um, not card stock, but like report cover. And they work really great for just like this, tucking in. So now it's all tied together and you don't have like a real obvious gap. And then I can put one of these little sketchy cameras back here. Maybe I'll put it on top. Yeah, I like it on top better. These were also Nicole's. I can put that like right there. I can put another small one up here. And 
know I had another small one. Where did it go? Oh, it's a bigger one, but that's okay. And I think I'll put one under here. I want that general admission. This actually came from an Echo Park Disney. So you never know what you can use if you fussy cut stuff out. Okay, there's that. I think I want another ticket up top. Maybe like that going off. And that duplicates the star. this camera up top here. Okay, so let me go ahead and trim that little bit off. a ticket I can probably stick behind yep stick that there all right so I'm happy with how that looks now what I think I want is these words. All right, so I'm gonna cut. We're gonna do a little MacGyvering because the number one fan is singular and goals is plural and I don't want that so let's we're gonna cut off the S from here I think we're gonna go goal right there. And then we're gonna use the S from goals. And we're just gonna build that up here. Where did I lose my one? Oh, there it is. So we can get the number one fans. Me and you. We got goal. All right. Now we have word phrases. Let's see.
I like the go, go, go. I should go here, go, go, go. And then they have the word amazing kid. I think I'm gonna cut the word kid off. Now I'm just gonna use the word amazing. Okay, I like that. And then they have love this boy, but I can take off the boy and I can go with love this. And they have a so cool. Okay, I'm happy with those. And then we need another pop of like red or something in here. So let's grab these cool kid stickers. And there's some red stars and red arrows. So let's just pop a red arrow here. And we've got another red arrow we can put there. And then we have these chevrons arrows we can put here. And I think I want one more star. Maybe red stars. Yeah, I've only got one red star. So I think I'll put that up here. And I think that is going to do it for our layout. So I think we did pretty good. Oh, I need twine. Hang on. And I have red twine that I had here from my last layout. And I will have to glue everything down with um, some adhesive afterwards just to hold this in place. But I think that's going to do it. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by again today, and we will be back again tomorrow with another layout. Make sure you check out the description box below for everyone who's playing along this month. And also make sure you hop over to Instagram and look for Vicki Lopez Duran. She's got some wonderful layouts that I think everybody would enjoy seeing. Thanks so much, and you have a great day.